as a result of predicting future enrollment growth, we did several things, but the first thing was to look at the existing Cairo High School facility and determine whether the, this facility is capable of being expanded. And when we say expansion, it has to also include expansion and land around, traffic, all of the things that you look into, infrastructure. So we employed an architect to do a feasibility study of Cairo High School to see if the building and the land around were capable of handing a, a high school with a student enrollment of approximately 3,000 students. So as we project out, uh, planning for, for town growth as well, as we've worked with town planners, um, it's, it's highly likely that we're going to have 3,000 students in probably seven to eight years. Um, so as we look forward to that, you also have to look at acreage on this site. So the existing Cairo High School facility sits on around 50 acres. You have some land available to the west, but it's park land, it's former landfill land that when we looked at that, um, probably not suitable for building any type of thing. And as we looked at parking areas here, as we looked at infrastructure, the, the um, the architect made the recommendation and the board did approve that recommendation that the infrastructure and the facility, it's sound, uh, but it can handle a smaller student enrollment, could not handle a larger student enrollment. So based on that, we were commissioned to go do some, uh, some site searching. Um, and I know probably we're still in the preliminary stages of that, but as we plan for that, we're looking at a site large enough to accommodate 3,000 students plus, <clears throat> but also large enough to be able to expand in case enrollment in our, excuse me, the population in the town um, girls past that.